I guess the question was, what type of animals did the etheric female mate with again? The original was a type of chimpanzee ape, if you would, which she was curious about and which they were curious about because at that time the sexes were not male and female, they were one. They were universal hermaphrodites again. And as they were pulled to discover what was on this planet, they saw this creature that was bipedal and so on again like this and made it with it. Later on, mankind, under the doctors and scientists, who I call mad scientists here, actually then created a bestial type of a person who actually made it with other animals of all kinds. And it was not just the female of the group that did this, it was a male too. They produced again some of these half animal, half creatures that you saw, which you've been told were created by the Atlantean scientists. That's not the only way that they reproduced. They let loose a people who were dumb as to who was what on earth, and they did cohabitate with anything, and their vibrations were so low at the time that they could actually reproduce. Dr. Blair, I heard you talking about um, mankind, or mankind and human couldn't exist anymore. Can you explain the difference between what you were saying, a human and mankind? Yes. Human is animal man. The god hubris, as they call it, amongst the Egyptian and Nubian societies, ruling the animal kingdom. Man is descended from angels or from what they call lord gods. Uh, as we study, we'll find out that there were many rulers of planets with an ascendancy and a work staff